For 73 years, the AT&T Cotton Bowl has been an institution in college football. But today, a new era begins as this New Year's Bowl game moves to the stunning edifice of Cowboys Stadium. Victorious a year ago, the Ole Miss Rebels returned to North Texas, aiming to repeat in the Cotton Bowl. And he gives it to Dexter McCluster. Dexter breaks the tackle, heads to the sidelines on a drop step. He's down the sidelines to the 40, to the 35. He needs a block. He's got two in front of him. He angles back to the 15. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. Touchdown! The Oklahoma State Cowboys produced one of the best seasons in school history. Breaks a tackle to the 40. Bounces to the outside. 35-30. 25-20. May go all the way. This senior-dominated team can today match the OSU record for wins in a season. Bounces to the outside of the 40, down the left sideline to midfield. Going across the field. To the 30, 35, 40, down the sidelines. He's gone! He's gone! Ole Miss and Oklahoma State, two of the SEC and Big 12 elite. Square off as the historic AT&T Cotton Bowl starts a new chapter in its celebrated history. That the famous one by number 47 of Rice, Dinky Magel. It looks eerily similar to what we saw Dexter McCluster do in that first half, getting to the outside on the defensive left, offensive right side of the field, the defensive left, offensive right side of the field, the defensive left, offensive right side of the field, the defensive left, offensive right side of the field. And then when your character is questioned, you ought to really be motivated. Potts gets it back. Zuzalek stumbles, knocked out of bounds, shy of the goal line at the two. Potts. Yeah, as if you don't have enough to worry about, huh? The throwback to the quarterback, Taylor Potts, a wide open Austin Zuzalek. Again. So now it's third and goal from the 15. Yates lobs one. End zone, leaping, making the catch is Greg Little. Touchdown. And then he punts the ball into the stands and draws a flag after the touchdown. The back, then we are going to have to kick off from. See if he gets his feet in bounds. What an amazing catch. And yes, it's a touchdown. He got his right we foot down in bounds. We have unsportsmanlike conduct. You just cost us 15 yards. You see the athleticism in the style. He has everything you want. And easily a touchdown. I think he's just frustrated, Chris, from all of the penalties that happened on that drive. Frustrating that they still overcame it. We got into the end zone anyway, but you still just can't take take matters in your own hand. This this is pushing your defense 15 yeah. yards back for the next possession. That's a one, two, three me decision. The GMAC bully said, hey, back in 99, we were the 23rd bowl game. Now, of course, there's 34. Just 10 years. Antonio Brown. Here goes Antonio Brown. Just what Central Michigan needs. How about that? Turns, he is so dangerous. Well, he gets a great block at the point at about the 30. No safety in the picture. The kicker is no option, and he outruns the angle to get to the end zone. Tremendous run. These kids in our first year. I want to ask you about some tactics going on in this game. As Missouri throws a screen, Mark. That pass complete to West Kemp, still on his feet. Kemp's got a great block, oh. and he's still on the loose. Missouri with a huge play. Great blocks. Watch, here's the little screen. He's going to take it across the field. Now the first one's going to come down here at the bottom, Derek Washington. Right there, the second one right there by Jared Perry. And all of a sudden, Missouri, by running the football and throwing the bubble screen. Third down. Frazier lost it up. One-handed grab! Touchdown, Huskies! 
sideline. Kind of a little switch route where he starts inside, comes back out, and then up the sideline. Look at that grab. Come. Never know it. Maybe it just froze in that right hand. Look at that grab. Didn't need the left hand. Six points on the board for Moore with the point after. He's down the sideline after he freezes the defense. And then the rest is just pure athletic ability with the hands. Oh, what a grab. Converting third and 16 and third and 11 on this drive. They got Burns throwing the football. And what an interception. One-handed pick by Brian Peters at the one. Don't know if Todd is shaken up. He looks to be okay. Why did Burns throw the football here? He puts it in a good spot. That's just a great play by Peters. He, he is the safety that, yeah, he got both feet down. Help. Now from the nine. Scott dropped the snap, recovered, throws it into the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. What a catch by Terrence McCray. Had to go up high and got his foot in for the score. That's what I said earlier in this drive, Pam. A lot of times what they like to do is just throw a jump ball to Terrence McCray, who's a former basketball player at six foot four. He's able to jump up over Dequan Bembry, who's only 5'10", and take the football out of the air like he used to grab a rebound. Half minute remaining in the first quarter, facing another punting situation. It's the umpire, Michael Cooper, who's, who's lost his head gear. They want to make sure they get this pun off with the win. Hey, we're going to have to find a replacement cap. Now, that one's gone for the evening. It's a little chilly down there, too. I think it blew into the stands. A high snap. Hecker got it. Chambers feels the punt. Now he drops the football. Oregon State scoops it up. And the Beavers have it on the one-yard line. But there is a flag down on the play. And we may have a hole. Hired staff members. They've, they've hung in here pretty well against one of the best offenses in the country. This pass thrown complete. He's still free. Morrow down the sideline. And he finally will be tackled at around. Well, let's see what they're going to spot it. The official was ahead of the play. And I think he's going to say that he went down at around the 30 yard line. It's good for 38 yards. How often do you see this where the offensive player knows that his. He's not down. No, he's on his top of the defender. Or his legs did not hit. And the defense thinks they rest for that just half a second. But what great hustle. By Doughton. If Doughton does not get down there, this is a touchdown. Good heads up play by Moore. How often do you see this where the offensive player knows that his. He's not hit, down. He's on top knee, of the great hustle by Doughton. If Doughton does not get down there, this is a touchdown. Good heads up. Just cramps. Mm -hmm. Todd throwing it to Burns and he's going to throw it. Yep. And he's looking for Fannin. And it's intercepted. Oh. Great pick. By Sheriff McManus, big play for the Wildcats. What do you That's, think of the call, Grease? I love it. I do. I love it. You got a you get a turnover in positive field position. Gamble with something. Try something. This is just great discipline by this defense. It goes back to Mike Hankwitz, the defensive coordinator, teaching his guys to play their areas, which you talk about all the time. Now's the time. Barkley airs it out. Looking for it all. Williams. How about that? Goes up at the highest point to take the ball away. Watch him go after this. Three guys there, but the one guy in dark jersey comes up with it. Damian Williams. That's Bowman. What a night for Bullock's kick. High spinner and short. Taken at the 19. Boykin. Boykin. Look out. Got one man and he's open. He may go. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Georgia. Boykin, 81 yards. Told you it's going to be high scoring. On <laughs> camera. AM just completely out of their lanes, a middle return. And give him all the credit, or give the blockers all the credit on that. Their poison composure. Yeah, Houston had their lowest scoring first half of this season in this game today. 
Carrier gets the first chance at a kickoff return, and you see his amazing speed. This is world-class speed for Carrier, and he's gone! No flat. Yeah, and, and watch. They try to kick it to the sideline. He's able to get it and then bring it all the way back across the field. Blocked perfectly. Just a middle return, but he's got to get all the way there. And now it's just a foot race. You're not going to catch him. One of the fastest guys on this team. And you can see the switch right at the kick. They were trying to still kick it away from him, but they switched it right before the kick. He catches it. And the rest is history. Gets it back to the middle of the field. Turns the Jets on. Makes a big play. Great adjustment by Houston in the lock. Points out of it. And this will be Warzika. A yard or two deep. Makes one nice move there to be still going. Warzika, now he has a chance. Warzika down the sidelines. The race is on, and he'll win. unit, the Houston kick return unit, and the Air Force field goal unit. Yeah, and again, watch just the missed tackles right here. These were the big ones, and then they lost contain on him, led him to the outside, another missed tackle, and now it's a foot race, and Morzika actually wins this one. Football game, not field goal. And that's one of the great things about all the time you can prepare. Martin takes the snap, direct snap to White, touchdown. How deep can you go in the playbook? High school quarterback off the Wildcat. Now, you didn't Blair like White. the throw by the punter. You ought to like that one. I love it. I love it. But doesn't matter how many you have if you have the right players, right? Yes, sir. That's fun. And we've mentioned the bad taste in this football team's mouth. Northwestern with... A minute 20 remaining, one timeout left. Kafka going in zone, Stewart wide open! He hung on! Touchdown, Northwestern! Angles looks right, and nowhere to go. He's still on his feet. This is unbelievable. Dropped inside the 40 yard line. He was my dad does. Well, I'll tell you what, BJ Daniels got to get the S off of his chest because he came out of that pile. There was no way he was going to gain 13 yards on that play. He was well behind the line of scrimmage and makes a terrific play, eludes multiple tackles.